Hey friends, I'm jumping right into it with some Gambit. Today's topic is talking about how I complete games really quick to try to level up crafted weapons. First thing I pay attention to while loading in is the location and the enemy type, which is going to be Vex. If you miss the location, you can pull up the ghost and it will say something like Legion's Folly. Then you pull up your trusty wave chart and look for Legion's Folly Vex. And we know we're going to the steps first. I use a double special setup with Izanagi's Burden and a lightweight one-two punch shoddy that you can get from the Vanguard. But depending on where your skill-based matchmaking bracket is, you may not need any of this. So a Titan Skate in, I throw a grenade to the left and immediately hug the right to start shotgunning while I think my teammates will clear the left. If it's an Exploder, I shoot the shotgun because I don't want to... You will instantly die. It's like a bug frame rate related or something. Now some Vex come out of this door and I just punch them. I'm going to skip on picking up this power ammo because I want to make sure I can get a grenade down at the next wave right off the rip. I will get power ammo later. The faster I clear the wave, the faster power ammo spawns, and your blueberries always, always, always want to pick up the power ammo instead of trying to get the fastest bank possible. Your blueberries always want to pick up 15 motes, and they don't care if your invader gets in or not. Sometimes you're going to be the invader, sometimes you're going to be the sentry, and sometimes you're going to be the collector. You have to be all four at once. I know it's not fair, but if you want to spend less time in Gambit, you better get good at Gambit. I'm joking by the way okay so this is where the one two punch shoddy comes in just ammo conservation on these blockers if I go really close to the exploder they will auto detonate once I get five I'm just going to bank because I, I don't want them to invade okay Got my own invade. Not really ideal circumstances, but we're going anyway. Okay, this is why we use Anagi's Burden. One of them has 15 for sure. I need to find him. Don't want to stay scoped in for too long, and the guy I just killed is going to spawn on my back. So you tried to galley me. His teammates are going to gun me down right here. I don't want Honed Edge anymore. I might be able to eager edge him. Got him, okay. Perfect, I'm gonna take those moats back to my side and try to get another invade before they do. I have an opportunity to instant kill an invader, so I'm going to take it. Unfortunately, I don't have a honed edge, so I just have to hit a headshot. Good luck. I'll super if I have to. Got it. I'm not going to be able to get that power ammo in time, so I'm ready with the caress swap. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get power ammo anymore, so I'm going to go to my scout. I'm going to pre-spawn that with a nade. Start working on invader in a sec. I don't need syntheseps anymore, so I'm going to go to caress. I want to be in this position because I can cover both the base spawn and this step spawn for the invader. So now I'm checking radar while making sure I can't be seen by base. So it is base. Tank that rocket, then we move. I'm going to go ahead and invade. Scout rifle's fine. Remember the guy I just killed is going to spawn on top of me. So I got to be real careful here. He's with his team. Okay, perfect. Another rocket used. I'm gonna try to... Perfect. Put that on, on the dead bodies. Maybe they struggle reviving. And I think I might be out of shotgun ammo soon, so I'm gonna be on an SA... Oh, psych! Game's over. Switch to the crafted weapons. And there we go, got a sniper rifle. Is it good though? It is not. Hey, relax. You're making this so high level gambit is all about reading the situation and just doing the best job for the moment. You have to constantly, unfairly switch what you carry. A lot of the times invader is the job that no one takes. So it's on your shoulders. Make sure you farm a good scout rifle 
you're going to use Iznagi's Burden and or a different Legendary Snipe. Succession with Recombination is really good, but there are other things. The Gambit Snipe's also pretty good because it can get Harmony. Then you could use something like Shoot Deathbringer on your own side to delay a kill, switch to a Harmony Sniper, and then have High Energy Fire ripping, and you can start body shotting with that. So there's a lot of really cool strategies to try to solo carry if you ever need to in Gambit. So here's the build. Harmonic Siphon so that my arc weapons make uh, orbs on double kills. Sniper targeting because I'm using Izanagi's Burden. I want it to be as easy as possible. This is both controller and mouse and keyboard. Impact induction is quite possibly the most important mod. I'm always meleeing with Syntheseps so it recharges the grenade, which acts like a pocket decent teammate if you throw it on the other side while you're reaping. Striking Light is specifically for helping out a teammate that knows what they're doing because you give them orbs of light, which equals an earlier super. If you're not going to have any use for this, just switch to Fontamite to get extra damage on your arc weapon. Melee Wellmaker is the second most important mod. Even your regular melee, not your shoulder charge, counts. Then I have Recuperation so that if I ever get energy weapon double kills, it drops some health on the floor, which is useful. Remember those Exploder Vex? Yeah, that's where I want that. To recover from that. Then I have elemental charge so that my melee kills will feed me high energy fire which might mean body shots in specific situations. And then bomber so I use thruster to recharge my pocket teammate. Sometimes if it's a very specific team like I know the enemy team is a gambit regular I will switch to barricade because they're just so good at invading that if I don't have a barricade I lose. These are the fragments. Feedback, since you get meleeed a lot in PvE, free resilience, longer Stormnade, Orbs of Power for being amplified, which are always going to be in Gambit, you're going to have Speed Booster too, and then Jolt. My armor swap is Caress of the Falling Star, because sometimes you can completely skip an immune phase. This is not about playing honorably, this is about just ending a Gambit match as soon as possible. So if I think the enemy team is significantly better than me, and I don't have agency to end the match quick, then I will just start switching to my crafted weapons and killing adds until we lose. Because if I start invading and I start getting four pieces, it might give my team a chance to win, but it's still ultimately slower to try. So it's about just getting the most Gambit completions as possible. And learning to play Gambit somewhat decently helps get those completions even faster because now you have the agency to win more matches. Don't forget on your ghost to put Prosperity Gambit, even though I don't think it's worth purely going for wins. Sometimes faster losing is way better than Prosperity wins because it doesn't even work like most of the time. I think that covers most things. If I was crafting a sniper rifle, for example, I wouldn't even bother swapping weapons. I would just use whatever I have and synthesep carry it the rest of the way there. It would look something like, let me pull any sniper. It would look something like this. I would be invading with whatever sniper I'm crafting, doesn't matter what perks. And I'd just be using Deathbringer to pre-spawn invaders and do some fancy kills on bosses and whatnot, trying to timer it with Caress of the Falling Star and Deathbringer. Anyway, I know this was a lot of stuff thrown at you all at once, but this is a glimpse of what higher level Gambit looks like. In the grand scheme of things, I'm a noob when it comes to Gambit, but I at least know enough to try to end matches quickly against other people who don't know what they're doing. There are some really, really organized teams in Gambit. It's kind of a shame I'm going to switch the topic here for a second. It's kind of a shame how little support Gambit has got, and the updates that it does get seem to make it a worse mode overall. There was this magical period of Gambit balance where it felt kind of like Super Smash Bros. Melee, where there was just this hidden, high-level opportunity to express skill that isn't there as much right now. I still think high-level team versus high-level team can be fun if you stick to some gentleman's rules, uh, for example, there's a bug with Golden Gun where you can desync going into the portal and you're able to just shoot people normally on your screen, but on their screen, you're teleporting all over the place and it's not bungee servers. So there could be some gentlemen's agreements between two Gambit teams that does still make it an enjoyable mode, even out there in the wild. But me personally, 
I'm going to keep using this stuff because I don't even want to be in there in the first place. I just want to get in and get out, get my crafted weapons done while farming some amazing sniper rifles. I uh, hope I was respectful in this vid and you understood a little bit of sarcasm here and there is fine for flavor in this vid. Uh, take care, everybody. I will see you in the next one.